this is part three of the information about the law. Um, you know, we have to understand that we have to follow the laws of God that he gave Moses. A lot of people say it's the law of Moses to, to try to, you know, uh, defame it. But God gave Moses the law and he gave everyone else the law. We are supposed to follow it. Okay. Uh, and I'm doing, you know, I'm revising this to, to grab those again that don't believe this. Mark chapter 7 verse 6. Let's go read. And see what that says. Mark chapter 7 verse 6 say. He answered and said unto them. Will have Isaiah prophesied of you hypocrites. As it is written. This people honoreth me with their lips. But their hearts is far from me. Now. Let's go to. Uh, let's go to um, Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 29 verse 13. Isaiah chapter 29 verse 13 say. Wherefore the Lord said for as much as this people draw near me with their mouth and with their lips do honor me but have removed their hearts far from me. And their fear towards me is taught by the, re the by the precepts of men. So this is telling you, again, when you read Isaiah, it was talking about Christ. Because we just read it in Mark chapter 7 verse 6. So, again, I'm making, my, making it clear that when you read Matthew chapter 5 verse 17, when it says, I have, come, I have not come to destroy the law, but to fulfill the law. He's fulfilling just prophecy of Isaiah. Um, you can read um, Ezekiel chapter 12, verse 1 and 2. Let's, let's read Isaiah. Let's read Ezekiel chapter 12, verse 1 and 2. Let's go there. Now I'm giving you all a lot of scriptures. I hope you all are writing this down. Replay this, this vi these videos so you can have it. So just, just in case someone come you know just in case those who know that you're supposed to follow the law you you have uh an arsenal of scriptures that you can go to so you can show you know this is not to combat and fight anybody but you got to understand i'm using the scriptures that's it i'm not using my what i believe or what i think because i or what i believe is deceitful it's sinful the human nature is enmity to god all right so that's why when I speak, I'm going to speak the Bible. I'm not going to speak nothing else. When I talk to people, they're going to understand when they hear me speak about the Bible, it's going to be direct and in tune and precise with the scriptures. I'm not going to speak about it if I don't know about it. Okay. Uh, let's go to Ezekiel chapter 12, verse 1 and 2. The word of the Lord also came unto me, saying, when it says me, it's talking about Ezekiel, son of man. Then we understand that Christ is son of man. So it's talking about Christ in the Old Testament. Son of man, thou dwellest in the midst of a rebellious house, which have eyes to see and see not. They have ears to hear and hear not, for they are a rebellious house. Right? So let's go to Matthew chapter 15, verse 7. Let's go to Matthew chapter 15, verse Verse 7, so we know that Ezekiel prophesied about Christ as well. Matthews 15 and 7. Ye hypocrites, well did Isaiah prophesy of you, saying, This people draweth nigh unto me with their mouth, and honoreth me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. But in vain they do worship me, teaching for doctrines the commandments of men. Okay? When it says commandments of men, it's not talking about the Ten Commandments wasn't made by a man. The commandments of men is when they, when, when, when they tell you to do something that's not biblical. Commanding those to uh, abstain from meats. When it says abstain from meat, it's talking about meats of uh, the law. The, the the lawful meats 
you had people trying to push being vegans or vegetarianism and uh you know you have your your your, your catholics you know they they don't believe like if you're a pope they don't believe that you are actual you know you shouldn't marry to abstain from marriage these are commandments of men so i just wanted to make that clear so people will say well you see right there the commandments of men and you know the people will run and just 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 believe anything okay um again there there's are awesome some scriptures that you can go to and you know i wanted to touch bases and uh this is not as long as i thought it was going to be but when you read matter of fact let me do this let's go to romans chapter Well, let me hold, hold on. Let me let me find something real quick. This is the scriptures that people use. I'm gonna go to the scriptures that people use to say that it's okay to. Uh, we're not under law anymore. All right. Let's go to Romans chapter fourteen. Let me break this down too because I know somebody's going to try to give me a comment with this scripture and then that so 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 when they do I'm gonna break it down for them now so they understand what the scripture is talking about let's go to Romans chapter 14 and I'm gonna start with the first verse Okay, it says, him that is weak in the faith, receive you, but not to doubtful disputation. For one believeth that he may eat all things, another who is weak eateth herbs. Now, the first part of this, 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 this verse is saying, him that is weak in the faith. It didn't say anything about food at the time. It's talking about faith, who is weak in the faith. And it's not talking about somebody that keeps slipping into sin. And I'm going to explain to you what it's saying. Him that is weak in the faith receive you, but not to doubtful disputation. For one believeth that he may eat all things, another who is weak eateth herbs. This is what the scripture is saying. When you can digest information and it don't defer you from the Bible, it doesn't cause you to go another way. I can look into the Quran to show people that's in Islam that that is not the way uh, to to the kingdom of heaven there's not going to make convert me they're not going to convert me into no islam i read their book okay i can read their scriptures so-called and understand how it was put together now somebody else may be they don't want to deal with it because they they feel there's a spirit on it of course it's a spirit on it but i can eat all things okay and I'm again, I'm just giving I'm just giving an example of what the scripture is saying. I can eat all things, but a man that just you know, I won't I don't get into a dispute with my brother or sister that just want to keep the commandments and they don't want to deal with certain movies and symbols like I showed in the other videos. They don't want to deal with that because they may feel that uh, you know, it, it may shake them. But I don't suppose to be like, hey man, you know, look, you need to look into this. No, that's my ministry, their ministry or their their call can be different and that's what this scripture is talking about for one believeth that he may eat all things another who is weak eateth herbs let not him that eateth despise him that eateth not i can't despise that man or that brother because he don't want to deal with the six pointed star five pointed star he don't want to teach his congregation about that that's not saying that he's he's not living holy he teaches his congregation or he teaches family to live holy god will receive him all right let not him that eateth despise him that eateth not and let not him which eateth not judge him that eateth for god hath received him so i don't supposed to judge him and say man he, he ain't going he, he weak disrespect and disputations you know supposed to debate at all and some people look at the scripture and they actually really think it is talking about food but it give you an introduction the first part of the chapter it says him that is weak that's reverse one again 
him that is weak in the faith receive you okay but not to doubtful disputation for one believeth that he may eat all things so i just wanted to read that part again let's go to verse four who art thou that judgest another man's servant to his own master he standeth um uh, or falleth ye he shall be hold up for god is able to make him stand so this man may be you know he don't want to deal with scary movies because i look at movies for studying purposes it ain't gonna scare me my ministry is different than his ministry or her ministry i am not gonna be like man look you should be able to look at this movie just praying no that's mm, i'm not going to deal with it because their spirit is not ready for all that or is not agreeing with it it may cause them to have a a, a, a a nightmare or something of that nature so i'll look at it and show them why they have it. what i would do is pull out the information of the movie and research uh the re, you know research the director's name and and people that developed the movie and tell you why they're having these different nightmares subliminal messages that's inside the, the actual movie and things of this nature and see that's that's what this scripture is actually talking about verse five one man esteem one day above another okay another esteemed every day alike let every man be f fully persuaded in his own mind if this dude don't want to deal with it this man or this, this lady don't want to deal with the six pointy star fine he's not they not esteemed in it you know they, they they don't have that esteem or that drive to deal with it okay verse six he that regardeth the day regardeth it unto the lord and he that regardeth not the day to the lord he doeth not regard it he that eateth eateth to the lord okay so i'm eating to the lord i'm receiving information to give to people so they can understand Satan's devices. Okay. And he giveth, uh, eateth to the Lord, for he eateth, he giveth God thanks, and he eateth not to the Lord. He eateth not and giveth God thanks. For none of us liveth to himself, and no man dieth to himself. For whether we live, we live unto the Lord, and whether we die, we die unto the Lord. Whether we live, therefore, or die, we are the Lord's. For to this end Christ both died and rose and revived, that he might be Lord both of the dead and living. But why doest thou judge thy brother? Or why doest thou set a naught to thy brother? For we shall all stand before the judgment seat of Christ. For it is written, as I live, saith the Lord, every knee shall bow to me and every tongue shall confess to God. So then every one of us shall give an account of himself to God. Let us not therefore judge one another any more, but to judge this rather that no man put a stumbling block or an occasion to fall in his brother's way. I know and am persuaded by the Lord Christ that there is nothing unclean of itself, but to him that esteemeth anything to be unclean, to him it is unclean. So what it's saying is, it is not saying that a pig is not, it, it, it doesn't say that a pig or shrimp is uh, in itself unclean. It don't matter. You can eat it because it's in itself. It's not even talking about it. It's talking about when it says unclean of itself, it is saying that in its creation, when God made the pig or when God made the shrimp, it is clean when it is it is made clean in its occupation to do what it's supposed to do in reference to cleaning the earth or cleaning the sea. It cleans the sea. It cleans the earth. The pig cleans the earth. So it is clean in its nature. It is not unclean. It is unclean um, when you try to eat it or ingest it itself. That's why it says the pork is unclean to you. It's not saying that it is unclean for someone else for, for in, in its creation. 
All right, look out for part four.